It's the medicine millions around the world are desperate to receive, but many across Europe have already decided to shun it. Vaccine scepticism runs high in many nations and in few places more than France, where recent surveys suggest around half the population are reluctant to receive a jab against COVID. This is one of the most active so-called anti-vax platforms in France, run by a woman who believes her daughter and others developed autism from childhood vaccines, a claim widely disputed by the medical profession. She fiercely defends her right not to have a COVID inoculation. J'ai jamais, jamais, jamais eu peur du Covid. Je sais pertinemment que c'est une vilaine grippe. Et c'est pas ça qui me fait peur. Dans la logique où, éventuellement, le vaccin serait super efficace. En quoi une personne non vaccinée enquiquine la vie d'une personne vaccinée Le vaccin, c'est moi qui le reçois. Les risques, c'est moi qui les prends. Si je le prends, j'ai le droit, pour ma vie, pour mes risques, pour moi, j'ai le droit de choisir. Je ne vais pas risquer ma vie, par exemple mourir ou autre, pour, pour quelqu'un d'autre. Pourquoi je devrais faire ce sacrifice-là France is yet to vaccinate more than the most vulnerable against COVID, and there are big questions about how many people will come forward in a nation where vaccine hesitancy long predates the current virus. Health expert Dr Caroline Depose says past scandals, including a since disputed link between the hepatitis B vaccine and multiple sclerosis in the 1990s, have lodged in the French psyche. La France a un peu de mal à dépasser euh, cette question de, de, de l'hépatite B, des liens avec l'industrie pharmaceutique. Et, euh, et on se rend compte quand on fait des études internationales que finalement, en effet, les, le, les Français sont ceux qui doutent le plus vis-à-vis -vis de la vaccination. Par exemple, les Anglais sont beaucoup plus euh, pro-vaccination que, que les Français. Confidence in France hasn't been helped by worries about side effects with the AstraZeneca COVID vaccine and the initial decision to withhold it from the elderly. Even some health professionals have been reluctant to take it. I'm against it, especially when we see so much pushback and that even nursing staff don't want to be vaccinated. It's kind of in our culture. The French are always very reluctant to take drugs, vaccines, all that. And I find it a shame that people are refusing. It's their choice. Everyone is free to do whatever they want. But I think it's unreasonable. If everyone does as they see fit and no one vaccinates, we won't move forward. But now France's Medicine Academy has called for COVID vaccines to be made obligatory for nurses and other health professionals. A bigger challenge may be bringing pressure to bear on millions of citizens. Michelle Clifford, Sky News, Lille.